So, welcome to a new video in the McLaren 600LT saga. It was a little while back that they unveiled the configurator on their website, and so I've been messing with it a little bit on my own time, but I figured we'd make a video kind of going through, checking out the available specs that we have to choose from, carbon fiber bits, the paint, the paint's obviously gonna be the big decision here. I kind of know how I want the rest of the car to go, but uh, the paint is still a little bit up in the air, so we'll check out what they have to offer. Could always potentially go custom, but I've got the configurator brought up, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at some stuff, see what we got going on. So, let's uh, design our own. Sorry, an unexpected error has occurred. Here we go, all right. So, the first and biggest option is the paint, but we're gonna save that to last because it's the one I'm most indecisive on. So for our other options here, we've got wheels and brakes, and I'm pretty sure, as for all my other cars, we're gonna go with black wheels. We do have a couple different wheel options though. We've got these uh, like five spokes over here, and then we got the 10 spokes. Even though I think that the five spokes are an upgrade, I kind of prefer the 10 spokes in black. That looks good. That's what they were rocking in the uh, unveiling video, and I think the car they have on display at Goodwood and all that. Definitely in black. Brakes and calipers. We could also, I think, go MSO custom on them, depending upon what we choose for the exterior color. We could probably match the paint on it, so I'm not terribly concerned about that. Um, so we'll just leave them as black for now. We'll stick with the Trofeo R's. Check out the interior here. So, one of the things that is definitely gonna be a must we gotta do, for the seat style, the LT Super Lightweight Carbon Fiber Seats. I don't know why they call it the LT Super Lightweight, because it's from the Senna. But even so, just look at, look at those, just look at those things. They're pretty sweet. The thing is though, for interior trim, I don't know if I can go and match the exterior color, or if I, like, if I go out of the range of these options here, like the red, and the orange and all that. Dude, I do I do like that Alcantara look. I just don't know if I can, like does it have to be black or blue or orange? Or can I do something else? Can I get custom contrast stitching? See, that's what I'm gonna have to talk to when I go into the dealership to do the real spec. But for now, this is what we have to play around with. Black is probably just the safest to start with, like this right here. And uh, let's see, are there any other options? Steering wheel, okay, okay. We can do carbon, Alcantara on the steering wheel, 100%, dude, 100%. MSO, extended to carbon fiber defined. I'm just gonna put carbon fiber pretty much everywhere. Carbon fiber interior upgrade, you betcha. Yeah, carbon storage bins, do I care? Steering, steering wheel mark, sure, why not? We got that on there. Seat belts. We haven't chosen the exterior color and a lot of the interior and the contrast and all that stuff, that's going to depend on our exterior color because we kind of want it to match here. Let's just look at some of the uh, other exterior features. Definitely gonna want like the full on carbon fiber. Turn everything, look at that. See, it was gray before, it was gray before, now we're just making everything carbon fiber because we kind of have to do that. And then it'll look more similar to how it did in the unveiling and all that stuff. Also probably gonna want the Club Sport Pack, which does the carbon fiber roof. And just, that's what we need, we need that contrast. We don't want that all in body color. And also it should be a little bit lighter. Should get us that combined with the Senna seats on there. Should be like the ultimate in lightweight. So we got the Club Sport Pack, we're light. We got all the carbon fiber upgrades. It's looking sweet. Let's see, the pl plenum cover? I don't actually know what that is. Am I like not a car person if I don't know what a plenum cover is? So exhaust finish, we'd either go stealth or gloss black. I'm kind of thinking gloss black. I'm thinking, you know, some gloss carbon fiber. I had matte carbon fiber on the 675 LT. I think I kind of prefer the gloss if I'm being honest. I could potentially do like a stealth expel wrap on it, which will make it look matte, even if I get gloss paint from the factory. The thing is with getting matte paint from the factory, if you're gonna wrap the car, it kind of defeats the purpose because if you put a gloss wrap over a matte paint, it makes it gloss. If you put a stealth wrap over matte paint, it's like you're just doubling up and it's weird. So you may as well just get gloss from the factory. Yeah, I'm thinking we go gloss black. And then what is the plenum in carbon fiber or natural? I'm like looking for the difference here. Plenum cover. 
What is it? Plenum cover? Plenum Co cover. Oh, it's 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 the engine thing. Okay. Oh, you were a car guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, it just doesn't give. It doesn't show you. interior. We still got this orange contrast dishing. I'm not sure that if I, I don't know, like if I can change that. Well, it doesn't seem like there's just a way to go like pure black and black right now, which is interesting, but that's fine. I'm sure I can change the color of the stitching when I'm actually doing the final spec, but it's limited on the configurator. All right, now, for what you've all been waiting for, we've got some options here for paint. White is not one that I'll be going with. Curacao Blue, how that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. It'll display on here similar to Miami Blue. So for those of you who are curious what a kind of Miami Blue 600 LT would look like, that is an option right there. I have seen, other McLarens in person in this color before. Um, it's not exactly Miami blue, but it's it's a close approximation here, at least on the configurator. It's a flat, non-metallic paint. On the other hand, though, Fistral. Fistral is sort of similar in shade and color, but it's a metallic, and it looks real nice from other photos that I've seen of Fistral blue. Also, red doesn't look too bad not too shabby to go just like a standard orange looking thing which is what they had one of the colors that they unveiled the car with the other being chicane gray which uh i i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna go chicane gray just because you know we had the 675 lt in that color i want to do something different and i feel like a little bit more color to have the whole thing pop is a better option. The reason why I had Chicane Gray and 675 LT is because that was on the dealer's lot already. I didn't spec that thing out of the factory, so I didn't have the option to get something else. Uh, let's see what else we have. Luminaire Green. It's interesting, it's interesting. I'm not sure if I'd go green on the thing, but you know, one of the areas that I am interested in are the purples. We got a couple options there. We got this Movine, Movine Blue, which is actually a purple. No idea why it's called blue. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. That looks, looks pretty cool. And we've also got Lantana Purple, which uh, just a slightly different shade of purple. And I don't know, man, you wouldn't think immediately when it comes to a supercar. Thank you. Thank you, LAPD. You guys are, you guys are great looking out for us in your choppers. I'm changing okay. camera angles. You wouldn't think necessarily when it comes to a supercar, purple would be the way to go. But Porsche with the GT3 RS, they had their ultraviolet, which was, uh, it was just a flat purple, non-metallic. I think that both Movine and Lantana are metallics. And I don't know, it just looks real nice. It's really tempting. It's also this, this I think Paris blue is a, a metallic darker blue. You almost can't go wrong. All the colors that I've chosen so far, you know, and combined with all the carbon fiber accents and the black wheels, it all works pretty well, but, oh man, even yellow doesn't look too bad. I'm normally not someone who goes for yellow, but yellow, it, it still works. Bear in mind, these are like, you know, it's gonna look different in person than it is on the, on the configurator, but black as well. Black could look pretty dope. I mean, look look at that. Look at that, or just the standard Onyx black. A little, little bit, I don't know, I don't know, sinister looking. It's just, it is, I do really, like having something that's more of a, a color that pops though versus on the mercedes the daily driver you know you get like a black you get a gray you get something like that a little bit more understated but on this like you may as well go all out and the purples the purples they they they're tempting they're tempting it's something i haven't done before so i'm burton blue that doesn't look too bad either oh man at least i think we've got we know we're getting all the carbon fiber they don't have the roof scoop as an available option to choose from here on the configurator. So I don't know what that's gonna look like. Maybe whatever they have at the dealership, they'll be able to display what the roof scoop will look like on top of it. But there have been some 570s out there that have a roof scoop. I assume it'll look similar with that. Otherwise, I'm trying to think if there's any other stuff that could be added that isn't on the configurator other than the contrast stitching. And I think that's pretty much it. But even, even if we did like the blue or the purple, and then in the interior, for now, we just kind of stuck it with the the blue. It kind of works, because, you know, blue and purple, hey, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Anyway, what do you think? Feel free to comment. 
Let me know what you think uh, the best choice is for the exterior color, and if you have suggestions on the interior. I don't know how much customization can be done, but I assume at the very least, whatever exterior color we end up going with, we can match the contrast stitching to it, so we're not limited to what's here. Uh, but otherwise, I don't know. It's gonna be a tough decision. It's gonna be a tough decision. You know it's not a tough decision? What's, what's not a tough decision? Plugging that merch. Plugging that? Oh yeah, dude. Probably, no, 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 you probably got a few days left of represent.com slash Captain Sparkles, Hummingbirds of the Sharks in the Sky, which reference to more CS2 slash Captain Sparkles stuff, but if, if you're interested, it's over there. I'm linked in the description. You can, you can check it out. Help build up the McLaren 600 LT fund. <laughs> 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 All right, well, we'll wind it down there. We've got some decisions ahead. This is only the first preliminary spec design session and we'll have the more official ones later in the dealership but of course we'll, uh, it's gonna be a mystery until we either go to mclaren hq or and if i don't get to go to mclaren hq then then just the delivery like the gt so uh anyway we're gonna we're gonna leave it off there thank you guys for watching appreciate it and uh yeah stay tuned for more content in the future